South Korea has begun removing mines in the demilitarized zone. The move is to implement the recently signed comprehensive military agreement at last month's inter-Korean summit in Pyongyang. After the mines are removed, the two sides will work together to recover war remains in that area. Park ji gets us up to speed with the developments. This place is located just one kilometer from the military demarcation line that divides South and North Korea. Here on the southern side of the DMZ, it's so close to the MDL that some North Korean guard posts are visible. Arrowhead Hill, or Hwasalmori Koji in Korean, was jointly chosen by the two Koreas to conduct the War Remains Recovery Project as one of the fiercest battles of the Korean War took place here. Wearing bulletproof helmets and vests, as well as other protective gear, military personnel are now working on mine detection and clearance. We will perfectly perform the mine sweeping and road construction for the joint recovery of war remains with North Korea. The mine removal operation will run through November 30th, and a 12-meter wide road will be constructed to link the South and North Korean side by the end of this year to help facilitate the project. I am now inside the demilitarized zone, and after the mines from this area are safely removed and other necessary work is done, the first ever joint recovery of war remains by South and North Korea can kick off in April next year. As of pilot program, the two Koreas agreed to run the joint recovery of war remains from April to October next year, hoping it could lead to a series of further joint recovery projects in other areas of the DMZ. It is estimated that during the Korean War, around 10,000 South Korean troops and 2,000 U.S. troops were killed in the DMZ alone. Park Ji-won, Arirang News, Cheolwon.